What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new rendition of the Dope and Tape Show. See, they can't see you yet. You're already confused and you can see it. <laughs> see how we're still on that other screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Teaching Brian. Now we're going to transition. So, a little different style. Boom. Welcome. Uh, can you hear us? All right, they can hear us now. Welcome to the Dope and Tape Show. Blue Collar Broadcasting, episode one. We're going to try something new. We're going to be trying to go live from a manufacturer facility. Sorry to Chris. Chris was supposed to be the first episode of this, but his Wi-Fi was a little bit shoddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, we love you. We actually just saw Chris a little earlier today. He was doing a class here, and uh, we're here. Oh. At uh, General Air, I'll let Brian take over yeah, a little bit. I can do some clicking. Ray Fremont Jr. here. You got President. it. President. I did. I did. You know, I practiced like six times. <laughs> <laughs> I messed this up somehow. <laughs> you pulled it off. Paul. I know. President General home. Air. We yes, all know thank. General Air as the blue tanks, the blue compressors, the, I would say, the Milwaukee of compressors, for okay. sure. All right. Super reliable, tons of power. They just work. And then Thank we you. also have Chad. I know everybody's like, who's Chad? Chad <laughs> has been here from the beginning. He's been a, a guest several times. He's our cameraman. He's our right-hand man. He's, he really takes care of us. Like, we're a bunch of cats, and he kind of keeps us together. You know? <laughs> keeps me and Bobby from killing each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? 34. Let's see if I can get this YouTube working here. So, here uh, right now, we're in Philadelphia. Um, General Air was... Thank, thank you so much for bringing us up oh, here. Happy to do it. I'm glad you guys, we, it all worked uh, out. Man. I, guess I wish we could come here like he's all our, week because you had a big event, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, can yeah. you tell us a little bit about the event? Absolutely. We did uh, our Sprinkler Madness event. We've done a couple of them. Um, just kind of tie in sprinkler training to yeah. the beginning of the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, We try to do things a little bit different, have some fun with it. We, you know, we build in some... You know, some brackets and uh, um, watching games. Like, we took, like, a two-hour lunch break to, yeah, like, yeah. you know, watch the beginning yeah. of the games and stuff like that. Go back to the training and, you know, a uh, day and a half of that. So we get a little bit of, you know, a whole bunch of different manufacturers and everything. It's, you know, had a, a great party last night to kind of cap it off. Yeah, yeah we I was got a get... lot of feedback for that. It's like, yeah. man, you should have been here last yeah, night. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Like, yeah. Everybody was talking about yeah. last night. Everybody. <laughs> so if you all hear some compressors in the background, you yeah. know, it's just the sound of our people. So That's it. It, it. it might happen. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's a common <laughs> sound around here. We, we almost don't even hear it. And it's like, oh, yeah, that might not be good this for you. It's still it's okay. We love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you can tell who the new guy is. It turns on it. Whoa, what is that? Yeah. A, the veterans don't don't flinch. We're at the yeah. compressor place, baby. It's the same Boom! Thing with, like inspectors, we got like, Matt. Hi, hey from Chicago. You guys are like, whoa! And I'm like, oh, it, yeah. it, it happens, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we got eight people in here. Thank you for joining. If you're just joining, we're live from there. It is where we make compressors, That's baby. Right. Yeah. That's go. it. Chirping up. We're surrounded by them. They're all around us here. Thank you for joining us. Ask us some questions. Hopefully, it doesn't run too long. Nah, it doesn't run. Too long. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I don't, I'm gonna tell I take Discord. it off, but it's doing a test. I've yeah. totally forgot about I'm that. I'm gonna oh. tell Discord that we're running here. For so long. We, we are live on Instagram. Already. I can't see what's happening up there, but hello, hello. <laughs> we're talking to you through here. Let's you probably tell hear it better than on the mic right now. Uh, everyone, I'm gonna tell everyone on Discord we are live. We can just shut that down. Boom. Which one? Oh, Which we gonna shut it? I got it. I think there's that yellow valve going to the the connection hose there. We can probably just shut that for right now. That should shut it off for a gym? minute. Yeah, yeah, right there. That might work. Closed off the compressor. Right. We'll, we'll give her a second. We'll see. Yeah, we'll give we'll a second. Her a second. Is there any way to shut that down? All right, come back, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were going to do. <laughs> She's getting there. She's building pressure. It's all right. Like Brian said, okay. it's the yeah, yeah. of our people. We're, not we're nearly there. there. Oh, so, you you are down. you are genuine. There's no fake in it. You're in an air yeah. compressor <laughs> manufacturing facility. <laughs> that is, that's awesome. It couldn't have been any more perfect. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, look at that's awesome. That's pretty cool. I want to fix this oh, a teensy bit. Thank you for bearing with us. We appreciate you. Hey. <laughs> Let me get that vapor shield. Matt's in Chicago. What's up? What's up, George? Thank you for joining. 
Send us some comments. Send us some questions. This yeah. place is awesome. If you wanted to come and do a class here, Chris was just here earlier teaching classes. There's an yeah, SPP yeah. pump right out here. This, you got every type of valve you could ever imagine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank someone you. just someone just subscribed. Oh, right on. Thank you. We're over a that. thousand subscribers. Look at that. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, That's man. Dave awesome. E. That's really cool. Thank you for subscribing. Dave, thank you so much. Woo! Love it. Awesome. The comments are filtering in. Thank you guys. So this That's is great. cool. This is like yeah. our first little rendition. Um, obviously, this isn't uh, the same as a normal dope and tape show, regular no. interview, and so that's why we're gonna we're calling it the blue collar broadcast. The reason why yeah. is whenever we're together, we're gonna do that, yeah. and it's just we're just hanging out, yeah, and talking about whatever. So when we're in this format, kind of like a table action, it's just going to be um, a different a different set of numbers, if you would, and kind mm -hmm. of like a different style show. Ray is the goat in the air compressor industry. Good people, <laughs> great products. Yeah. Let's Much go. appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. The goat. We, we do our best, so. Apparently, so, it worked for men. Well, I so, love them. We'll take it one at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm down. I sure do love them. I mean, like I said, they're, they're like the Milwaukee tool of, of air compressors. They work. And I love the blue, and everybody, when awesome. they go in there, they you see know the what blue. it is. Exactly. Yeah. They're yeah. like, okay, cool, cool. That's cool. I mean, we might break it trying to adjust it. <laughs> you <laughs> you like won't be it. the first one. No. Um, no, it happens all the time. But yeah, no, we've, I mean, focusing on that quality, I mean, it's just, it, it's got to be in line with the rest of the system. We wanted to make an air compressor that's going to last as long as the system's supposed to last, yeah, you know, yeah. which, and valves and all that stuff, they're supposed to last a real long time. So yeah. it's, that's what we saw as, if we're going to be a part of that system, that's what we need to do. And we so. saw that in your R&D, and how many years have you had some of those compressors running? Oh, geez. Um, some of them are on long tests. I mean, we expect, out of our oil list line, we expect between five and 8,000 hours of runtime out of them. So, I mean, you and know. they shouldn't run, so. Yeah, right, yeah, so that's exactly right. So, I mean, depending on the conditions of the system, you can have that last. I mean, it's not uncommon for our, you know, compressors to be lasting, you know, well into 30 years. You know, wow. That's crazy. Um, which is yeah. awesome, yeah. you know, and we're, and we're very proud of it. I, I remember the first time I heard about it, I was at um, McCormick Place in Chicago, and the, and the, the guy was <clears throat> asking for parts, the facility manager there, and I said, well, can I go see all the air compressors? And he's like, you're literally the only person who's ever asked to see <laughs> all the, but I was like, yeah, but what was really cool is they did an expansion sometime before, uh, well before, um, in the 90s, and I was thinking like, wow, I was probably building some of them compressors. And uh, it was 30 years later, uh, they bought, they needed 80, they had 80 dry systems put in. They needed, eight, so they bought 81 air compressors. The idea was they bought these lubricated tank mounts. They bought 81, they got one in the box for the, you know, extra parts or whatever. All 80 were still running. The 81st was still in the box th oh, 30 years wow. later. That's I was great. just like, I love that. Yeah, like, I just, cool. I'll, I'll tell that Dude. to anybody who will listen. Yeah. <laughs> I just that think it's cool. Great story. And, and you know, what's important there too is that, like, it's not, um, like I always say, we take half the credit. Right, we made a great air compressor, and like I said, I'm very proud of that. But the other half was the fact that they do all that maintenance, right? right. Like it, it wouldn't be that way if they weren't doing crazy good maintenance on that system. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what yeah. makes it last is maintaining it. Yeah, that's yeah, doing the work. Do yeah. That's why you have to do your maintenance on your sprinkler systems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and yep. your diesel pumps. And what better place to learn all that stuff but at a place like this? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what kind of events or organizations or anything that they have to join, like our listeners, sprinkler people? fire protection people to come and tour and learn at your facility so we're i mean we're pretty open i always try to tell everybody you know this this place we built this for people to use it right yeah. so like the guys who were in here before were like hey uh there's a there's a company around the corner and they were talking about uh putting in their own <laughs> they were talking about putting in their own uh um training like yeah. they, were, they were gonna build it. and i just said hey just come in here literally whenever you want Right, you know, right. you can just come in. So, hey Dave, you want to just kill the power? <laughs> I think she's jealous. I don't know why. Yeah, I think she yeah. wants to be on the show. She wants yeah. to be heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <it. Looking> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's funny because I think we've been in here for like the last couple hours yeah, and it hasn't long. run at all. Oh, no. Yeah, so you're right. It wants to be part of the uh, yeah. conversation. But yeah, so yeah, I mean, we, we bring in like, you know, anybody who wants to use it, but we also do a lot of classes with the uh, American Fire Sprinkler Association. Uh, they've used this a lot. They have 
great educators and they, they do great classes and stuff. And then the NFSA, they were here today. So yeah, the National yeah, Fire yeah. Sprinkler Association, they brought in their burn truck, you know, and stuff, which was cool and everything. Great, yeah. So you can show that off. So it's just, yeah, it's good stuff. I'm gonna go yeah, up to like 103, 104 and shut off. Yeah, that's alright. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. This thing okay. still shut off. Oh, your thing shut off? Yeah. Everything shut off. I mean, off. we're still live on YouTube. Oh, okay. So, for some reason, it's Instagram. Our compressor's live. turning on, the cameras are turning off. That's it. That's, that's it. We're live. We're we live, live in constant scene. chaos around here. Right. You know, so it's right. no different. You know, we're welcome live to our on phone. Scene. I love it. <laughs> I saw Brian in there trying to adjust it. So oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just trying to get people to join on the Did you get it, Dave? Like, so it's just going to stop running? Oh, that's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, I found it all. Thanks. We don't make it, like, widescreen. That's not going to hurt what we're doing. No, no, no. I'm going to do all that. But thank you, Bobby. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's okay. You know how to use phone. So, let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah. So, I have... So, this came up before, and I have a... I have an attic system. Yeah. It's a senior living. Yeah. It's a large property. I quoted to rip out some of the main because of like pitting and rust and issues in the piping yeah uh, I was quoted to pull out the old pipe and then bring in new ones and it would be a nightmare I had to bring I had yeah. to take out um, like windows in the stairwell yeah, yeah, yeah. and get yeah. into the attic and then bring out the, the old pipe and and I think it was like jeez oh, maybe a half a million dollar project wow yeah just for the attic system just no for the attic but then I was told that I could do nitrogen. Uh-huh. And the nitrogen, because the molecule is bigger, it would kind of plug some of the holes. But you, I didn't even know about this. And uh-huh. you said that this might be a better option. Like, is that, will that work? Or should I consider that? Or should I just well, change it with the pipe? Right. I mean, I, I, you should definitely consider vapor pipe shield. But I want to first say you're not going to be plugging any holes with, with nitrogen or anything just else. Like, it's just kind of slowing down? Or? So, I mean... The way nitrogen works, like 98% nitrogen, is we're trying to change the environment inside of the pipe so that the corrosion that's taking place or might take place, it, it, you got to think about it. It's like fire. It needs food, right? Sure. Like just like, like and oh, so corrosion yeah. needs food Which and it needs water, oxygen. oxygen. Right. Yeah. Water, metal, oxygen. You have those kind of together. So if we bring down that oxygen content, you can't, you know, it, it, it can't keep growing is the idea. And that works. That works really well. The trick is keeping 98% in there. But if you're at a point like you're describing where you already have a bunch of leaks and, and holes in it, it's not going to get any better than that. Right. You know, and you're going to have yeah. a lot of, you know, so that I would assume that means your compressor's running a lot, you know, and all that. So I, that's where I think, you know, I've vapor pipe shield works really well. Have you? Two in three years. The okay. interior of that pipe is probably so corroded. That yeah. You're not oh, going to yeah. go backwards. It's with rough. It. Yeah. I've replaced several pieces. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a pretty common exercise, I think, for these things. I mean, Dry system is the most incorrect name for these kind of systems. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, like dry light. Dry well, you know, like, sort of. You know, yeah, 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 right, yeah. <laughs> kind of dry. Yeah, kind of dry, dry systems, you know. That'd be, sure. That would be kind of cool, you know, putting that on the cover of, uh, of that chapter. Yeah. It's, it's kind of dry systems. Kind of dry. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean... It's, I, I mean, obviously we know what it's supposed to mean, but the, the fact that there's a little bit of water in there, that's why it's, it's, it's almost less of a problem with the wet systems because there's not a lot of oxygen in right. there, right? You know, so where you have those trap bubbles, you have the air bubbles, you, you put on the air vents, right? And AGF has a great air vent and then it just kind of, the, you know, the air will work its way out of the system overall. And there's other ways to address it too, but I think that's the best one. Um, but that's where, again, you know, I, going back to the dry system idea, like, the best thing that you can do is good fundamental installs. Like, yes. I mean, getting as much of that water out of that system, pitch that system. is, yeah, pitch, pitch it, it pitch and it. put drains in there, put right? And do right. maintenance on it, right? Yeah. Minimal pitch. I that mean, is your... Pitch it, pitch it yeah. more. No, like, yeah. it, pitch it more. So, yeah, typical can. pitch is like, what, 10%? No, it's quarter. It's a quarter inch per 10 feet. Yep. Is what, is what, is what your minimum... Or is it, or is it ten, like 10 it's, degrees? It's a quarter inch per 10, every 10 feet for sprinkler. Okay, so that's... But like, you could go... Half an inch, if you have the room. Like, mm-hmm. it's not saying that you can't go more. Like, Pitch the not? shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah, well, Let it drain it. back. But yeah. also, an old timer told me this, and it stands true. Level pipe drains. Why? Le- why say that? Level That's pipe. If, if, it, if it's all level, if it's all level, it's going to drain. 
because the air maybe not that teensy air's little pulling. well no just like you open the drain it's all level if there's no pockets it's not pitching down level pipe drains may not drain to the point where he wants it as as dry it's as possible dry. but yeah. a level pipe will drain yeah. i feel like that's kind of like bad advice um, no, it's just like a, it's a theoretical thing. If it's all level and you're opening it, it's going to all in come theory, out. In yeah. Theory. Well, the pitch is also going to help you get over some of where the grooves and the couplings are, yeah. where you have like a little bump little, inside yeah, the pipe, because yeah, that's yeah, where true. you see a ton of that. That's where it rots. Yeah, that's where it rots right so there, and it's because it gets stuck would there. Be, wouldn't work. It could be a problem in that instance. Yeah. But Probably overall, you know, I mean, it, you know, we're trying to get a little cut right there when it's pitched. I should have sat next to you if you want to argue the whole time. <laughs> I, yes. I, just, I don't see like that's the best way. Yeah. <laughs> How old oh, were you when, when this guy? Who, who was? I don't it? know. I just I heard that and I loved it. And like you know, if you it's, it's if it's level, it drains. Freaking bucket What do you think talk, it's going? You huh? think it's see, gonna, that's what I was talking about. Bucket talk. I told you about bucket talk. Jeez. You got that from me. No, no, I didn't. I like that no, phrase. No, no. And you're right. There's sometimes there's a lot of that. Uh, what's it called? There's yeah, a lot of that that goes talk. awry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I was telling you, like, you know, we do these air maintenance device over here. And like, I've had more than one guy come in there talking wrong stuff about air maintenance yeah. devices. And he's teaching all of his guys. Right. Yeah. And, and like that bucket talk phrase is a really great phrase, I think, it for is. that. Because I'm because I'm sitting there going like, mm, 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 this mm-hmm. nope. And that guy's been that also means that guy's been doing it for 20 years. because oh, Somebody yeah. told, him. told him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he just mm-hmm. he's like, That's yeah, it. that was it's, it. Right? It's and coffee break and they're sitting around and one guy wants to talk about what he think he knows. And he, you know, he's probably passionate. He's trying to teach. But yes. if he's yeah. got wrong info down yeah. the line. They're sitting on the buckets and they're spreading bad info. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's something like that, which was it could be a big deal down the road when yeah, you absolutely. come down to yeah. a situation absolutely. or as something as little as like we went back and forth which was like bucket talk on who has the best tape measure I think we we argued for like 30 minutes who's got the best tape Stanley measure Stanley Fat Max yeah. the magnetic one yeah see well he won't bend off of that yeah. but it's never that's because that is the best tape measure remember when I told you when I, <laughs> when, I when I argue when I argue I'm right <laughs> in your mind if I wasn't argue, if uh-huh. I didn't argue oh, it means I, I'm not sure jeez Stanley Fat Max we could ask the chat all right, chat. What, who has the best tape measure, huh? <laughs> good, good one. You didn't. You're not even gonna try I to hope. tell them the one that you like. Huh? No, <laughs> try no, to push no. your. Try to push your. <laughs> <point>. <laughs> what is, whatever they say. You already lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like the Milwaukee because it goes. It's got like ridges on it, and the head is a little bit too big. big. It's big. Yeah. It's it is big. big. And the magnet's not as strong as the Stanley Fat Max. And they had the, the magnet's important. Nice, yeah. strong magnet. Yeah. What's up to the chat? Can I not see the chat? Oh, no, I see the chat. I just can't really see it. It's big, but it's small. Look at it. Why doesn't it get bigger over here? Keep the ITV open when filling up a wet system to avoid air unless you have air release. Always leave the cars. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, 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 uh, that's Chandler, Chandler right there. Chandler. What up? Yeah, hold it down. Cali boy, <laughs> we hear you, dog, loud and clear. Let me we adjust. We have a the, lot of guys over in, in Cali. Let me adjust yeah, this yeah, chat that's so cool. I can wow. see it yeah, a little good. bit better. I'm gonna put it yeah. down like Cali and then like up here where we are now, okay. in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot Let's of people up in New York, Boom. Rhode Island, okay. all that yeah. area. Yeah, big. That's cool. It is cool. We get to see all different kind of systems from yeah. all over the world. Yeah. I, Bobby comes from new construction. I come from the service side. Okay. You know, so like the mentality of putting in a brand new system and filling it up and hammering it to yeah. where on the service side you do that and you're blowing, a, blowing yeah. apart half your main. Yeah, yeah right. years old. Yeah, you know? right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to know yeah, who you're taking good. advice from. Service <laughs> guys with control valves, you're like slowly opening in you on a new construction. You're like, ah, oh, open that thing. I, I'm the new construction guy on a service job. I'll show up to an old place and fly the valve oh. it blows apart <laughs> i want to find out now not when i'm 20 minutes up the road sure, you want to be there and not the main me as a manager yeah. i'm like oh no 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 don't do that don't well, do and, <laughs> and i always i always fall back to a dry system what yeah. happens with the dry system it, when it trips do you do you bleed do you do you fill it in nice and gentle when the dry system no, it trips no, it goes no, from zero to 100 pops. and what pops. happens nothing happens it's great so why can't i do that with a wet system just fly the butterfly <laughs> same piping same couplings same hangers but we gotta fill it slowly because the inspectors told us to. Bucket top. This is a chair. This is a nice chair. That's how like, my my father told me that. This is a little hey, more hey, professional hey, than hey, buckets. Easy, son. Easy, That's easy, yeah. easy. That's different because my father used to tell me like we'd be like filling it easy. The guys would be filling it easy with the jockey pump. My dad would be like, "What are you doing? Get out of here! Turn the fire pump on! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go!" <laughs> That's it. Pops used to tell me the fire pump's just a big jockey pump. 
Why are you going to wait for that? I told, what did I tell, I, I told, I told Chad, right? <laughs> you did that the other day, huh? right? What did I tell it's you? Like it's taking forever with the jockey pump. <laughs> right. We got a 12-inch loop, loop of underground, and yeah. then we got a 30 GPM jockey pump. The thing's like 19, 19 PSI, 20 yeah. PSI. I was like... Like you said, I said, wake up, Clark, wake, bro. Wake, wake up, up, Daddy. Wake yeah, up, wake up. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up to pressure. All right, we're good. <laughs> One second. <laughs> That's wild. Don't yeah. take that advice. It's very dangerous. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it's terrible advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do what we say, but not uh, as we do. Yes, you know? exactly, exactly. My cop out and all these things. Like, Fat I don't know Max, nothing about no. wet system, so yeah, I'll just yeah, stay yeah. out of it. Fat Max, no questions. All right, Fat Max, Fat Max. Stanley for the win. On wet system. So See, what's the I difference? Want, I want to go back. What's over, go over here, Chad. Get a little close over here. Can you read those? How many Fat Maxes we got? What do you got? say on wet systems versus dry systems? What is the difference? There's no there difference. Is, there is no difference. So then why be careful on How many wet Fat Maxes came in? Dry? Hey, um, we've got a question from Hal that says, has the NFPA talked with General Air about pushing towards nitrogen on all dry systems? Um, well, one, I'll say... Great I mean, question. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, that's a good question. And it's, it's an interesting one. Al. Um, no, I mean, the NFPA, I don't think, would really work like that. Like, they're not, they don't really have an agenda as far as what they want to see on CIS, unless there's something very specific going on. But it'll be brought by the community, and that's, you know, something else, you know, if you're talking about getting involved in the industry, learning about the codes and standards process. I mean, sure. it seems like a little bit of magic, right? But, like... Once you learn some of the terminology, it's not that complicated, sure. you know, and, and uh, there's some real good people out there who, who want people involved from all different aspects, from new systems, from service, from, you know, there's a lot of ways to contribute there. Um, but as far as the specific question about, like, nitrogen, um, it's, it's been our opinion that it's just, it, it's not a great fit for all dry systems, yeah. you know, and I think... I mean, we're talking a little bit from the service side. I mean, you see issues out there, right, with, yeah. with those systems. And we've seen it, too, as a manufacturer and everything. Um, it's, it's, it has to do with the way the technology works, with yeah. the amount of flow through there at 98% nitrogen. Uh, I do a presentation on this a lot where, you know, airflow into a system has never been an issue because a compressor is sized for a 30-minute fill. So we have way more CFM than you need to deal with the – small amount of uh, uh, leakage that should be taking place, mm -hmm. right? So the air compressor can take care of that. But once you take that air compressor and flow it through the nitrogen generator membrane or the, the molecular sieve or whatever, you drop like 90-some percent of your flow. Mm -hmm. And now you only have 0.6 CFM. It's of 98% nitrogen, but you have like 0.6 CFM or whatever of uh, flow in order to keep up with any leaks and stuff. So. Where you have systems that are going to be inherently leaky. Like, like one I always bring up is like a parking garage, right? Every time a car drives through a parking garage, that whole building is shaking, right? Yeah, yeah right. You can yeah. feel it, right? Oh, yeah. That means the sprinkler system's moving around For a little sure. bit, right? Yeah. And it's just a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a leak, right? right. But over time, over years, that's going to be, there's going to be tons of those. And that's going to add up to a few CFM. And now you've got a piece of equipment and it doesn't keep up. Yeah. Right. So then what are you going to you go to oversize it or you're going to you know, like, you know, so it's something that's got to be really thought about at the field level, I think, um, to yeah. see what works in Service reality. He's going to show up and open the bypass. What the fuck's wrong with this thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see it all now. the time. <laughs> oh, man, I got his, his valve shut. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 Now it's running and the alarm's not going off. So I fixed it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's 1200. Yeah, right. <laughs> 3 a.m. You know. Goes all of our nitrogen yeah. down to 2%. Yeah. So, I mean, I think there are, you know, tr I, I should say historically, I think there's great applications for nitrogen, but I, I think they're really fewer and further between. We've, so we've always kind of maintained Let's say that. in the future, five years, 10 years, is nitrogen going away and being replaced nah. with something else? Um, I, I think it is. I think it is. Right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I think the technology that we have here with Vapor Pipe Shield and everything, I really think, you know, um, I don't know how old you guys are. Um, 35. But 35? Yeah. Okay. 35, All right. Two, so two, then you're aware of, uh, like, beepers and pagers yeah. and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. right? So I really think, like, beepers and pagers. Like, when I was in high school, that was, that was cool shit. That was cool. Right? Yeah. I was like, oh, I got a page. I got a... I gotta go like you know, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go call that person back. You know, like you're real cool, right? And I was like, that was cool, right? Um, 
But then yeah. a cell phone came out. And what the hell do I need a beeper for? Right. You know what I mean? Like, I just, it just, Didn't... it's completely inconsequential anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's great comparison. And I, I, that's the way that I think of this, is yeah. that eventually a new technology comes out, and that's what we have here, is something that's just, you know, because at first I was trying to think when we started talking about vapor pipe shield, um, like, you know, is there applications where it might be better to have uh, nitrogen or whatever, but I have yet to think of one. Like, I just can't, you know, and like, you know, I think about dry systems a lot. And I, right. I can't yeah, think I'm of sure one, you <laughs> right? You know, sure you so, <laughs> so, so yeah, I would say I think it is going to replace nitrogen generators in, in, in over time. You yeah. know? So the, the vapor pipe shield. Yes, yeah. So how does it do that? How does it uh, mitigate corrosion? Or corrosion how does it supersede? And, well, yeah. so, okay, let's say just, just from a performance standpoint, I mean, not talking about necessarily yet how it works. Let's just, you know, it, it, it prevents corrosion, yeah. right? So we'll start yeah. from there. Um, we have all the information that show you that it does that. But to answer your question, like the idea of why do I think it's going to supersede nitrogen? It, nitrogen is, it, it's a big piece of equipment, right? It's it takes giant. a lot. It's huge. We're looking yeah, at right. It. You're looking at one and right this there. This is Look tiny. Yeah. yeah. Right. It is, I mean, you just bolt it. Boom. Yep. It's like installing an air maintenance device. Yeah. Like I mean, it's not it really a lot to it. I tell you what, that looks like less work to install this than to hang a TV with a mount. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like know? that comparison. Yeah. I did hang a TV well, with a mount, and I'm really? still waiting for it to fall off in my living room. But <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the maintenance. You sold me on the oh, maintenance yeah. for sure. It's yeah. two screws, it's a gasket, a cartridge, and I think you'll get guys to do that if there's less maintenance on something. Unfortunately. Yeah. So let me show you. Yeah. I know you're yeah. kind of far... You don't have to move, don't worry about okay, it. Okay, good. But you will replace these, right? So there's this hex screws yep. on each side. It comes off. Yeah. You pop the old one out, put the new one in. Right, so there's just some basic filters. Right. Real easy. Four screws. Yep. And then here, this will come off. You pull out the two bags, show them the bags. There you go. They'll come in a sleeve. Right. And there'll be two bags in there, right? Yeah, there's two bags inside of this container, right? right? So you'll pull out the sleeve, put the new one in, pop it in. You're Hold done. It down. Hell yeah, You're John. Done. You're done. Yeah. Like done. Yeah. Like not like a dry air pack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Where they are, you know, getting all the desiccant out of there. It takes yeah. time. It takes some work. Like you know, an hour. Thing. I yeah. think yeah. I did I got it down to like forty five minutes to an hour. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm booking yeah. it. And I'm yeah. over there with a straw with the yeah. thing upside down and it's falling out. And yep. then I gotta clean it up. The other thing I think about is looking at that in a riser room. And looking at that in the riser yes. room, and I'm already yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're you know, jammed crammed up. in a riser room. Uh -huh. And look at the amount of space that yeah. takes up for me to work in there. Yeah, there's. I mean, I've been in some riser rooms. I mean, you know, you probably see more than me, but like, you know, usually you can find some space on the wall. Right. You know, I mean, just between oh, a couple yeah. of the valves or something like that. There's somewhere yeah. you can put make it, it work, and yeah. you can make it work, right? right. You know, and. I mean, as far as, I mean, now we have wall mount nitrogen generators, That's but that's as small as it gets. And that's, right. you know, a couple feet tall, mm -hmm. you know, foot deep. I mean, it's, you know, and then you got to have room for the door and to open and everything. I also really I mean, appreciate you know. your uh, flex hoses with those. Oh, thank yeah. you. As yeah. Guys, yeah. Yeah. Um, you listened. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, what's funny. I'll tell you a funny story with that. Cause like when I first came out, I was so proud. I was like, you know, we got flex hoses. Like we're going to put them in here. Right. And I, like, just like you're saying, we're answering. Mm -hmm. So the first presentation I do to say that. As soon as they're like, hey, there's flex hoses, we're gonna include them in the box. And as soon as I say that, the guy goes, is there a union on it? And I was like, damn, man, uh, like already, you know, like, already. oh, like number one, yeah. like the first question. I was like, no, there's not, Dang. I'll get one. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see him. I see him yeah. Now. yeah, so now we have, now they're in the box with the union and everything. But I just thought it was funny. I was like, I was like, oh man, everybody's gonna love this. And they're like, mm, question number one. Those old yeah. schedule 40 systems, let it fly all the time. It's my guy, John, right there. Open it up. Okay. Like how fast you want me to film it? Like how fast can you open it? <laughs> <laughs> like that union when you go to replace a small backflow, that is the best. When they don't have that and you're looking at it, like, yeah. boom. I, I added the logo so, and it almost looks like it belongs right on the wall right there. Oh, that looks perfect. It looks like it's already there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. how about that? Nice. Couple right. clicks. Yeah. yeah, look at you. I love the sign. Thank you. I do love the sign. Yeah. And like the, those three colors together, just like it pops. It pops, right? Yeah. 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 This, this no, was I like still, Y'all had it on the show. So <laughs> I love this. So I like that. Like Thank Candyland. you. It really uh, is. It's... I could be here all night messing with those. No, no, don't, yeah. don't touch them. They're good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to train people with these. Don't I know, I know. And I was like, we could probably get a competition. Like, how fast can you do it? Uh, yeah, yeah, faster yeah, yeah. you. Uh, that'd be cool. Dib's not the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I yeah. get the new Viking. Yeah. <laughs> I got one valve on there. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Instagram's saying. Yo, what up? Oh, wow. People are just like commenting like crazy. Can't nice. see. 
I'm not really watching these comments because we're far away, but thank you for watching. I don't know this. if they can hear you because the mic's yeah. here. The mic's here. You're wearing a mic. Yeah, guy. but it's not going to YouTube. The, that, that mic goes to YouTube. The mic yeah, right there is going to You are Instagram. far away from YouTube. I don't care about I'm your stupid Instagram. Instagram. Hey, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I don't care about your Instagram. The show's here. Come on. They can sit they, right they're downstairs. Fine. They're fine. I know. <laughs> if I just walk off screen and they just see you, they're all going to leave. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I started to tell a story one time. We had to unsubscribe. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. I got all it. Right. I got it. I'm sorry. No, it was more than just telling a story one time. He told the same story like 50 times. Yeah. People were like, yeah, <laughs> screw this. <laughs> <laughs> Heard this one 49 times. I'm out. I'm out. I'll say, all right, I got so, it. I got so, it. The thing is, I like to tell my stories and stuff, and they're cool uh -huh. to me. And then, yeah. and then my guest, I want to tell my guest. Right. But then I forget that they they oh, already. Yeah. And me time. and like me, yeah. I've been yeah. like, oh. And my. then you're like, oh, I forget again. <laughs> yeah, you hear it more than everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I know. I know the story. Just tell me the tell me the start, mm -hmm. and I'll finish it. So going back to this, it's yeah. So the the molecule mm -hmm. itself is. Tiny. It's not oh, yeah, like yeah. big like nitrogen. Well, I mean, the molecule size of nitrogen or, or this doesn't really matter much. I mean, um, I, I don't think it has much of an effect on its, uh, you know, I mean, if you get really deep into the science of the corrosion and stuff like that, there might be something of importance there. But at the end of the day, like when we're talking about corrosion in the fire sprinkler industry, it's um, something I always go back to, like something Jim McHugh said once in a presentation where he was just like, did you ever leave your bike out in the rain? Like yeah. it rested, right? right? Okay, now we know enough about corrosion. Let's talk about <laughs> what we're doing to prevent it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because I mean, really, that's what it comes right, down to, true. right? Everybody so you got water, you got metal, you got oxygen, yep. you got corrosion. Okay, so now how are we going to prevent how it? We right? with you it. know, right? Yeah. So, so, but when it comes to the like VPCI uh, molecule size, is kind of important from the standpoint is is because. With nitrogen, you're inside of the pipe or trying to change the atmosphere inside right, of the pipe, right, right and reduce right, oxygen. Right. But with, with the um, VPCI molecules, we're trying to get into the substrate of the uh, metal, right? And we're trying to cover every part of that metal. So what you're really doing is, I, I heard somebody put it a cool way. One of the, the, the guys from Cortec was saying, you know, he's showing this, this piece of metal in the water. And he's like, how much of that water is, is touching the metal? And it's, it's completely submerged. So you're like, you know, all of it. And he's like, none of it. It's, you're, it's a barrier between the metal and the water. And it's one molecule a thick. barrier. Yeah. 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 One molecule And thick. it's only one molecule thick. That's molecule what's happening. Molecule being like, like a red blood cell. Like smaller than a red blood cell. I have a, I have, a, I have a, uh, a <laughs> thing in my side. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's enough to create a barrier. It is a, um, what Whoa. is it? A nanometer? Yes, it is. It is uh, four hundred nanometers. Right, I learned this, right? So I'm, I'm just telling you, it's like my. Well, you're the man. Like, well, no, I mean, like, yeah. like, I like, you. <laughs> like you were learning right my name. Like I was like, I'm looking like, remember what a nanometer <laughs> is, you know, like a bunch of times. <laughs> and uh, right, so don't ask me about it. It's <laughs> like 400. Was it like 400 nanometers, something like that? It's like a billionth of a meter. What? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then I learned to and, emphasize the size of a billionth. I thought this was cool, right? Um, a million seconds is like 11 days. A billion seconds is like 30 years. Jeez. What? Right. Yep. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. So when we're talking about a billionth of something, yeah. you're talking about something so infinitesimally can. small. It doesn't make sense. Because it's yeah. a billion and billion. Yeah. But like, yeah. to go yeah. to billion, it's just like, it's, it's so number. many it's millions. Many. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> many millions. The, yeah, the yeah. example I like to look at is a millionaire's yacht and then the billionaire's oh, yacht. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see that picture. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So then water goes through and then this air will go back into the system. But for those three years, would that expire? Because there's no air no, movement. The, it, well, there is some air movement. Because no, any, any system, right. I, I mean, the, if air wasn't moving, your compressor wouldn't run. Right? It's, it's, that's air leaving the system. Find me a dry system that doesn't have a compressor that runs. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. right. That's true. So, so theoretically, you're holding it in there, right? But we're not, really, because it's all, you know, every, there's leaks at the couplings. There's leaks, you know, all over the place. Little tiny leaks. Okay. Tiny. But all over the place, hopefully, at least initially, right? Yeah. Over time, they grow for a lot of different reasons. But, mm -hmm. you know, it starts out small. And that's why you usually see on a new system, a compressor could be running, like, maybe once or twice a day. That's right. not uncommon. Mm -hmm. But it grows pretty quick after that. How would they pass that hydro test? <laughs> yeah. And then they hook the compressor up the next day, and the compressor's just running and running. But the day before, they just passed a 200-pound hydro test with the fire marshal. Mm. Huh. Mm. Where's the jockey gauges. hidden? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you just get the gauge and just, the gauge and just and <laughs> <laughs> stick it right at 200. Here you go, sir. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, and it's crazy how the dry systems always have a little leak no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're never going to get a completely tight one. I mean, we we work on this one out here. Even the test rig that we have out there, we have a known leak i mean it's mm -hmm. just you know it's it's and we just keep it quantified so we can factor it into our you need me to find it and stuff yeah have a blast man <laughs> uh, you want to you want a, a bottle of soapy water and no. a whole lot of time no, we shut you got it <laughs> shut, the, shut the alarms off i'm filling it <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you're gonna you're gonna open up that pump all the way and just see what happens that's huh? it there's a leak <laughs> put some fabuloso in there <laughs> fabuloso <laughs> so like uh, we see the obvious size difference like yeah ginormous yeah um but what about the cost cost is another thing where because this is a new technology completely yeah. new to the industry yes. so that sounds expensive right now it's and it's and that was the thing like you know when i was again as we've been selling nitrogen generators i mean the the, the question is uh when are they going to be less expensive and the answer always was they're not like there's not nearly enough volume in the fire sprinkler industry to increase the amount of you know uh, say membranes or whatever to bring yeah. down the cost on that. It's it's going to be what it is, right? Yeah. It's a, it's an expensive solution. Um, so that was another you know kind of pain point that we wanted to address. Typically, when you're talking about you know same size systems for nitrogen yeah. and you would put a vapor pipe sheet on, you're talking about less than half the cost. Yeah. Time. less than half. Holy time. Oh, time. Time. Well, so, 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 so yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Shipping. Yeah. It's We're paying time. for it. Yeah. The time to mess with that and the time that maintenance on that is completely yeah. No, I can pick different. that box up. This, they got to move with a forklift. This is one guy, maybe, if we're being a little generous, four hours, let's yeah, say, right? One no, guy, I, four hours, right? What's your time limit for use, Instagram use? Uh, <laughs> Do you get it, you loser? No, I don't have time limits on my apps. That thing would go off at... Oh, uh, well, fix it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, well, Ignore the limit. Say. Who put that limit, Sarah? Huh? No, I me. Don't I only time, do an hour. You don't do. Gone. Well, you obviously do not do a Limits. time limit. No. no. No, I'm an influencer. There's no time <laughs> limits. Here we go. This will be the best live that you've ever had. I'm putting a widescreen for you, which oh, is well, thank you. something that you yeah. would know if you were an influencer. <laughs> That's great. That's cool. Okay, you don't come join the show I guess again. It, I'm I'm on the show. They can hear me. <laughs> you got no mic. At least Chad's doing a uh, time lapse. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, smart. I gotta say, I'm a fan of you changing with things. You have ah. a product. You have a competitor product of your own product, right? Here. Yeah, yeah. And, it you're, is, and yeah. you're willing, and yeah. you're willing to make something yeah. to make it better. Which yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of. That's oh, great. thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, it is about making changes. I mean, this industry has changed For a sure. lot in yeah. the past a several lot. years. You know what and I mean? That's why we're here to show that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you guys are a good representation of it. Yeah. I mean. The fact that we're doing something like right. this, yeah. you know, it's not something that you would have done 10 years ago. No. I mean, it's wild, right? Yeah. And yeah. there's an audience for it, and there's a lot of people out there. The industry's grown tremendously, yeah. and it's wonderful, yeah. you know? And, and, yeah, I mean, we see ourselves as a company that's uh, there's a lot to, that we can offer to, you know, yeah. kind of go, you know, change with it. So, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yes, sir, John, yeah. we'll definitely get you um, a close-up. I don't want to... I'll show you what we got right here, but I'm not going to bring it over there. We will have close-ups on everything we've seen today on YouTube in the coming days. Uh, you want to just check out th oh, this yeah. YouTube channel. Instead of the live category, you go to the video category. We'll be posting all kinds of stuff, shorts. There's a bunch of stuff in there. You can laugh at Brian. I like to... Uh, I like to make funny videos about Brian, you know. That's his thing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. He was a DJ. He was a DJ a couple days ago. You can see that on my Instagram page. I had fun with that one. But, but we will discuss this a little yeah. bit more in depth. We got pictures of this and, 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 and portraits and cinematic videos and 
we're gonna put it all together probably on a uh, on like a recap day, and you'll see our entire tour and yeah. cool. But so, if you if you missed it and you're close enough, I'd say come here and check it out yourself. Yeah, right on. Oh yeah, I really appreciate that. Yeah, just call them for sure. Absolutely, yeah. we love well, it. You know, we get a phone call. Hey, I'm going to be in the area. Come on in. Yeah. We'll stuff you full they of cheese steak and we'll so walk you much around. stuff. Oh, yeah. we <laughs> just had the best steak <laughs> and cheese <laughs> ever. Yeah. Yeah. You guys call, I, know, I know in Philly you call them cheese steak. Yeah, I was going to say I don't know what steak and cheese is. Up in the North we say steak and cheese. It's <laughs> <laughs> different business. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great. Ste- it was Good. a great uh, cheese yeah. steak. Yeah. It's yeah. important sure. part of the experience. Yeah. Oh, I you like know? that. I like that. You see every different kind of a dry valve you'll see in the field. You guys are not limited. New ones. Yeah, you're not just stuck with one manufacturer. They got every manufacturer here and. Yeah, it's great. You get four air maintenance devices, you get nitrogen systems. There's a lot going on right here. And again, you'll see that in the coming days on yeah. uh, some edited videos on YouTube. Awesome. Did you see but, um, my, my Brian ringtone? Oh, yeah. So I sent Daryl a video. Yeah. A, a beginning video of where I made the DJ where you're like, duke, 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 duke. And he has it as his ringtone. As his ringtone? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that's, a, that's a fan. So Daryl's a. He's a he's a character. Uh-huh. He's a character. Yeah. He's a character. Yeah. Daryl's a great dude. He's a super fan. So we have a competition coming up where he is going. So uh, Bobby's trying to be the worst customer ever. Carlos, let's go. Okay. And then Thank you. Daryl's going to present a whatever proposal he wants. Okay. Service inspection. They're going to oh, okay. try, they're gonna right. try to sell. They're going to try to sell me something. Okay. All whatever. Right. However he wants to do it, I can't know about it. Okay. Uh, the, the only rule is because I do this for a living. So uh-huh. I have to. I have to stay on his structure of presentation. Okay. And then we're going to see who does it better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Because I can't cool. say all the things that <laughs> I normally say. I'm sure it'll be very friendly. You know, just no, uh, not at all. Like, like kind of a Mr. Rogers oh, episode, yeah. Yeah. sprinkler yeah. themed, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> No, yeah, I we, can sense that. Yeah, all right. we keep everything cordial usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's awesome. Uh, that's good. That's good. Fire I did. I told him. I said, shout, shout out to Carlos. Fire sprinkler guy. I got you guys on the TV so we can see the comments, but we really still can't see them. They're kind of like sm- yeah, How do I make that? I want to like zoom that in right there. All right. So I'm, I'm even more curious. Yeah, so keep asking yeah. questions, kid. Go ahead. Yeah. A fraction of the size. A, a fraction of the size. Ended. Less than half the cost. Less than half the cost. Yeah. The life has ended. This is not able to keep up with like a leak and dry system, but this That's is hooked up to an air compressor. So, is there any You're loss? You're getting basically, there's a little bit of loss, maybe 2%, you know? 2%. I mean, it's really very minimal, right? So, it's oh, really minimal. Yeah. So, it's like I said, I mean, you know, I like that beeper and cell phone comparison because it's just, I mean, you're just talking about a huge leap in in, mm-hmm. in differences there. So, yeah. you know, while there's some stuff that's the same, you know, I guess from certain approaches, it is. It, it, it's just what's next, you know yeah. what I mean? And uh, nitrogen was a great solution for a while, you know, and now there's this. CDs and Blu-rays were great. Right. And they're yeah. weird to streaming. Yeah. Right now. Yep. True. Yep. You know, yep. Absolutely. Be, yes. Yeah. How would this be for like a freezer warehouse? <clears throat> great question. So like, so a freezer weir- warehouse is different, right? right? Because you have a dry air pack, but it's also kind of different in the like environment. Room. Yes. The environment inside of a freezer room or cold storage area, because the temperature is so low, you should have very minimal corrosion in there to begin with. So that would be the first thing is I don't think you need to really apply much it's in the way moisture, of a corrosion. It's right. well, moisture is going to cause it, but if you're if you have ice, it's that's frozen. a solid, that's right? Saying, right. The other thing is is that when when it comes to cold storage stuff, they typically don't flow a lot of water through them. Like maybe the no. first test, oh, hey, and then and like never it, again. Never and it's, that's in. right, yeah, and it's <laughs> never going to see water. Yeah. Yeah. Not They're not moving four million camera. dollars of ice cream. No. You know, so that you can do your like yeah. you know three year test. That's just not <laughs> happening. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, nap how? No, um, no, right? No. So, um, we'll talk to the fire marshal. We're good. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, it, yeah, always stays, definitely it essentially happens. always yeah. stays dry. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so corrosion dry. isn't a big issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, but corrosion isn't an issue. So, what we're really trying to deal with there is ice plugs. And it's the ice plug yeah, that's an just issue. at that, at that ambient air freezer room interface, right. right? That ice that goes from the normal temperature, whatever. And that's where you have to remove moisture. Right, so you can do that with high purity nitrogen, but then you still have the flow issues. One of the things we talk about because nitrogen has been pushed into that application quite a bit, um, and I don't really like it for that. And I always go back to like as a manufacturer, if that was a better solution, if that nitrogen generator was a better solution, I just stop making dry air packs. Right, like that would be more shop room for me, less parts to buy. Like it would be a way right. like that'd yeah. be like oh nice that we're done with that, you know. But the fact is, the dry air pack is the best way to go in that application. But what it people removes, hate it about moves. it is the maintenance. But you yeah, are yeah. also working on changing that, too. It's at FM right now. we got a brand new one that will be out, hopefully, at the beginning of next year. 
and uh, it's got um, and those towers for that. Right. It's right. got a. It's not exactly like this, but it's similar where you can pull out the desk in one go and drop a new one in. It really should take you. About wait, two wait, minutes. wait. So it's in a bag and it's not independent. <laughs> you know, it's actually it's actually cheesecloth. Oh yeah, <laughs> but still, but, but yes. it's like just like I was talking about earlier in the in the show. I would hold it upside down yeah. and like oh, poke yeah. at it and shake it. Yeah. And oh, it would yeah. take me an hour, and this I could just pull it out. And, You're gonna. It's oh, actually man. a setup similar to this with the top, right? Uh-huh. It's sealed on there with a gasket and everything. You're just gonna yeah. unscrew it, and there's a handle on this cloth, and you just pull it out, and you'll pull out all the desk skin that comes with it. Like it's all be in there. You just you can just get rid of that, and then you'll have you'll buy a new bag, and you'll just drop it right back in and, and screw the top back on. Jesus It'll take you like a couple known. minutes. Yeah, right. So outside, you know, we, we tried all right. these different things, and like, oh, that one Jeez, works the best. Works. So okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah. outside yeah. of uh, cold storage, this. So is so good well, for cold what? storage. This doesn't apply because we're not removing moisture, moisture right? right. Which so makes this is complete sense. right. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. So it's a good question because we get it a lot where it's like, mm-hmm. oh, would you put this in place of the dry air pack? And it's like, you know, I mean. In an instance where a dry air pack's installed in a in a cold storage facility, sometimes maybe you have a long run between the compressor and that that ambient air cold storage interface. You you know maybe to protect that corrosion, you know. I, but it's it's pretty rare. So overall, I would say yeah, you don't really need to put this on there too. But you know, it's not really going to benefit your overall system. You know, so save your money. That's what we're um, looking for. JB yeah. says that the dry systems were designed to keep sprinkler companies in business. <laughs> 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 Wayne, thank uh, you. Say, we appreciate you, Wayne. It's kept my family uh, doing pretty well for the past yeah, four generations. So, you know, <laughs> I'm all right with the dry systems. Stuff. So, yeah. out of all the systems you've got out there so far, yeah. who's coming back with you, like saying, hey, my system's not fixed now? You know, like they're expecting this to fix their system. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's, like, yeah, it's a common misconception on, right? on, on Just any. Like, like my like, question earlier. Right. Well, yeah. And mine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, I, I was. I added one when I was in the field years ago. We added a nitrogen pack to an old parking garage. Yeah. Like you were saying, like it, it was leaking at every, all the joints. We had to take a big section out. We took a section out. Like this right. is like corroded pipe. Like and yeah. it, I was pushing to replace it. Right. Yeah. Get, yeah. get the company a big extra. They're like, oh, all right, new nitrogen's coming around. We're going to put one of these bad boys in. They give me this big box. I'm like, this is going to like uncorrode it? Yeah. <laughs> what? And there's Shit's people rotted. who think that, and unfortunately, like, oh, yeah, 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 this is going to fix it. That's very much us. not okay. true. Yep. Well, yeah. sure it won't uncreate. Educating all on that. We try to as much as we can. I mean, you know, a lot of times, I mean, you just you find people hear what they want to hear, so they yeah. want to hear that they, you know, you're going to make all my problems go away. All right, that box is checked, and they, you know, but then they find out. Like, I mean, again, as you guys were talking about, like you have to go back and you have to service. Now we're not we're pulling we're not necessarily pulling corroded pipe out. But we're dealing with low air alarms yeah. or, you know, alerts on the, you know, on the nitrogen generator or somebody just pulled the plug on it and they bypassed it. And now there's a you yeah. know, very expensive air compressor there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're going to be right. back to corroded pipes soon. Yeah. So it's, it's no, you sounds, know. Yeah. This sounds like the future. I, I, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, I think that's a good way to go. This is the Pretty next step. And we, years, like I said, we feel very fortunate to have, you know, it just, it came about so organically. Like we were involved with... You know, trying to be, you know, like on the dry system side, we were involved with uh, corrosion mitigation and a panel at NACE and, and the National Association of Corrosion Engineers. Then we started, we from being involved with that, we met with people from Cortec and we we're like, oh, let's try this, let's try that. And like, we weren't excited about it first. This was five, six years ago now. We weren't like, it was just like, oh, let's give it a try. And then, you know, all of a sudden we're like looking at the reports going like, oh, it's, it keeps passing every test that we're, we're doing. And it's like, you know, then all of a sudden we started to feel like we might have a product here right. and we're testing and then you know like i said five years later we're done ul and we're out in the market like it was a very cool thing to be a part of you know i mean yeah yeah speaking of ul and this product and bucket talk as well yeah we've so we heard yeah we talked to so many people in the industry like countless like i don't know maybe me 40 a day you probably 100 like that's great a lot of people that's good tons those are our people that i'm talking to yeah Yeah, and um, and we heard rumors that it could be toxic, but what we found out here, and by seeing where you develop it, like yeah. this is as toxic as yeah, all like, that is not true at all. Yeah, no, I mean, again, everything's got some sort of toxicity level or whatever. Like I said, like table salt, you pour that in your eyes, you're gonna have problems. You know, like all those kind of things. But with the way this is, you can handle that. If it spills on the ground, you sweep it up, you throw it out. Like it's it's safe to deal with. The people who manufacture it here, the Cortec people, like no one, like you don't have to wear special clothes or anything like that. Right. Like it's all, 
you know, it's it's just something like like if I if I swept it up and it wanted to be a little overcautious, I might go wash my hands afterwards. You know what yeah. I mean? But how many times have you eaten, you know, lunch with you know pipe dope all over your hands? Well, you know what I mean? Like I mean, so I'm much. just saying, yeah, like right, yeah. So you, well, you like week. I'd say that's yeah, concerning that's more than this is. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like I mean, we all been there. Right. So, I mean, you know, so again, I'm not like recommending eating pipe dope or, you know, using this instead of mustard. I'm just saying, that, you know, like it, it's safe to use and be around and everything. Yeah. And then we were talking about like small spaces, right? Like we're venting it in a room or you're, you're emptying out the system. OK, like and we do that with the you know, it's, it's in the thing about the purge. I would say, you know, it's the same thing with with if you've got a small room and you're venting 98 percent nitrogen. I'd say open the door. Maybe, one yeah. maybe you know, step would, out of the room if, just for a minute, the same right? Thing if it wasn't, if you're just, you know, if it was just doing right, it, right? Yeah, yeah, if, if it was just compressed air, air right? or yeah, whatever, like, like it's gonna. Like, like, well, like, with yes. air, I would close the control valve, open the air, and close yeah. the door, and hang out so I don't hear it anymore. That's yeah, it, right, know? right. And I would say do the same thing here, right? You know, you go check your email on your phone or whatever, or you know, check your Instagram or whatever, and then you go back in there. But you know this, uh, yeah. It's 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 something that's been around for like forty years. People are handling it all the time. It's just it's so we've done our due diligence. But it's but again, like one of the other things I say when this stuff comes up, I'm like, don't listen to the air compressor guy. What do I know, right? Like right. I can know what everybody told me, right? And right. we did our research. Well, you, but the UL people to, UL tested. told us, right? After yeah. two years right. of testing, right. I'll listen to them. Yeah. So did OSHA. So did ISO. So did the EPA. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like I'll listen to them. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Like I don't like we you know like the, well, what's the, the air the compressor? The fragments inside this bag don't come out. Like, sure. No, well that's another important the part. Right? Not the powder is not going to be coming out. Powder should not be in there. Something's got to go real wrong. Show them a little test tube. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come right behind you. Talk to me. Oh yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. You guys will have a video. I wasn't a part of this. Closer. Okay. So there's a little valve on the end right there. It's a push valve. Yeah. It's a push valve. Right. And you can test here. Talk to me. Yeah. Let's like the little cop drug. Test kit. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? I don't know. I, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't here, here, right here, right here. We push okay. to connect, right? I don't think this is running. So, yep. You're gonna shove it in there. Uh, yep. No, wait. I think it's the other way, isn't it? I cut it off. No, I think it's that. Oh, no. That's it. I don't know. I don't know either. I cut the. I believe it's off. like that. Okay. And so then, the idea here is that what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this valve, right? Air's gonna flow through here as you're filling the system. This is a little piece of litmus paper. If you hook this up right, that's going to change red from the VPCI on it. Oh, okay. Okay? So now you know it's going into your system. Yep. And if you want, you can get a purge valve, put it on the end of the system, and there will be a connection for this, and then you can see it at the end of your system, too, if you want. Okay. You know? You don't have to, though, because, I mean, it's you know you know it's going in. But I know early on people are going to want to, like, oh, well, how do I know it's everywhere? Yeah. That was our test rig, and we have all the data for that. But if you want to see it yourself, there's there's ways to do that, too. Nice. So you can see that it's flowing through there and everything. Every service guy prefers this over anything else. <laughs> I, I, I got to yeah, imagine I'm you will, right? Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, right on. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to sell one. Put, yeah. put one in. Somewhere. That'll be cool. Yeah, no, you'll have to let me know when you do it. It'll be really cool. I'd love to hear what you guys say. We could maybe kind of revisit this oh, at that point. Videos. That would be cool. Oh, you'll see videos. Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm going to put one of these in. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be cool. And that test comes in the box, like in this test port okay. and everything like it's it's in a, you can decide to install it or not yeah. install it so it's it well, comes when you get the buy it because you only go through distributors that's right that's where you can buy it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, viking uh ferguson corn main um reliable okay. you saw all the big ones oh, and then we have a lot of regional okay. guys too so everybody yeah. you know stuff all our friends yes. yeah. Yeah. yep yep yeah. yeah all the people you already that know that makes it yeah. easy yeah. all of our friends and how available is this since it's still kind we, of new yeah no you can get one next day like, I mean, it takes us about a day to build them. I mean, we're not, Whoa. yeah, yeah, it's, we're moving through them fast. I mean, you saw over there, we have one person building them right now. We're going to need more soon, I think, which yeah. is exciting. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, you can, yeah, you order one today. We will be shipping it tomorrow. Dude, so, yeah. That's awesome. Turnover's yeah. quick. And, yeah, yep. and now now we know this information, and we're the ones recommend it on the service side. We're going to recommend this to our customers. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that. And I, th yeah. I, think, I think once anybody starts to use it, it's going to be easy. Sure. Like, it's just trying it that first time, which, you know, again, this industry is rightfully slow to adopt new things, right? Yes. I mean, we have, it's very mechanical, it's very old school, and for good reason. It's tried and true. Like, it's been used, you know, the right way for a long time. So, you know, that's why bringing something new takes a little time. That's right, but I, I know that once anybody uses this, all we do is get phone calls from last year. Is they're just like, uh, I, believe, I this training. I got so many good stories out of guys who put one in. They're just like, yeah, we don't go to that job site anymore. 
Like to, wow. to like, you know, with angry calls from the guy, like, you know, fixing, you know, yeah. whatever was going on. Either wow. the, the, yeah. And I mean, I had three different people show me that. That's this, cool. Just, just this Whoa. past two days. So then, awesome. and, and you guys will see videos of this and there's a little display next to us about the, uh, how you have one, you put the pipe in the oh, little yeah. display and then you have one that's not. Uh -huh. And, yeah. uh, and you guys weren't maybe planning on keeping that forever, but now you are. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looked like a pretty good setup. So we're like, you know, and it makes setup. an impression. Yeah. I mean, look it, at that. It, and it's just it like, does. wow. Whoa. I don't know if I you can know? get it to, tra yeah. to transfer onto the video, but you can see uh, there, there, good. there yeah. they got this one with his protected with the vapor shield, and this one wasn't. And there's a little display in the room next to it's us. It's the very first one. And, uh, it's first. something that we did early on. Like, it's we just, very, it was like one of the tests. Like I said, we just kept doing tests. You know, we would talk to Cortec, we would think about our application, knowing dry systems and everything, and say, Let's try this, let's try that, see how it gets to the branch lines, how does it move around, you know, all those types of things. And at a certain point, we're like, well, let's, like, we have all this data, we have all these white papers, because this product is 40 years old. It's just new to this industry, like, in this application. And, you know, so we, we took some pipe and we, you know, put it with this, we put it in water, we were just like, okay, you know, let's see what happens. And we just started watching, yeah. we're like, oh, well, look at that. You know what I mean? Well, it I looks mean, great. Speaking of R&D, like, like half of this There's place is our <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is like yeah. testing this yeah. with this kind of pipe and this diameter and this thickness there's, and there's a lot of testing you guys are doing a lot of testing it's really good to see i mean yeah. the pipe they got pipe they got loop they got what do you have you have foreign pipe domestic pipe all these different types of pipes Stay and you got yeah, ones being nice. tested with compressed right. air ones being tested with the vapor shield ones being tested yeah. with the nitrogen yep. and it's uh it's incredible you, yeah. got, you guys will, you. you guys yeah. will be able to see all that in the, in the yeah. videos to come yeah yeah yeah, no, I, we're very proud of it. Like I said, it's, we've grown a lot, and you know, over the past, you know, twenty thirty. I mean, you know, since nineteen thirty six. Woo! Right? Yeah. So we've grown a lot since then, and and uh, but I've I've really enjoyed that we we kind of broke off. It was it was something when we reorganized our engineering group, and we had to actually physically put them in a different space so that they didn't get pulled into production issues, and then it was like, okay, now we can start coming up with new products that we have yeah. to test and all that kind of stuff so we went to that kill room and we saw how we test every yeah. all the parts in there yeah. you know we have these rigs out here i mean we just and and we got guys over there who just love it and i you know they love it like you guys love sprinkler stuff like they just oh, love testing yeah. stuff and everything and I, I it's fun to be a part of yeah. it really is like i mean I, you know I geek out on all the manufacturing yeah, we, stuff and everything. And, we know, love yeah, we yeah, love yeah. that uh, the kill room. We we uh, <laughs> out stuff too. so a little description. We can't show you guys anything from there. It's top secret, but <laughs> there's uh, there's there's many compressors, and some of them are going on and off, and some of them are running forever. And uh, it's it's we're, they're seeing the fail. When do they fail? How right, do they fail? Yeah. And uh, how can we make it not fail? Yeah, yeah. and it's it's are, cool to see. Yeah, they're putting those compressors through the most stress they can go to. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Like, yeah. it's cool. Is there a lot of compressors cool running over in that corner? Oh, yeah, there is. I can hear them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. One yeah, of the cool things about being here is how inviting you are oh, and everybody. And then the people in the warehouse doing all the work. Smiling. Smiling. Oh, smiling. Smiling. Oh, smiling. Hanging out, everywhere. listening to music. Still, you know, and that's it. And it's, it's super funny. I gave them all an extra 100 bucks today. They said, yeah. you guys want to be here. So they're just like, smile at the guys when we come through. All right, help me out. Make help me out here. Maybe Dust off these yeah, compressors. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> we also have a huge yeah. wall of like 10 years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're very proud of that. And I hope uh, you guys got some pictures of that. Yes, I hope yeah. you can show that because we, you know, as a company, like I said, it's a family company. Me and my brothers are running it now and we're fourth generation. And, um, you know, we were, we were thinking about, you know, really it came about from seeing some stuff online where people are saying, oh, you know, I've been here for three years, five years. And we just got curious and we're like, wow, out of like almost 100 employees, we have 30 percent of them who've been over, over 10 years. That's we a have a bunch sign. of 20 that's, years, that's 30 years, sign. and yeah. two yeah. guys at 40 years. You know what I mean? So it's. Yeah. It just doesn't happen a lot, and I yeah I think it does tell a nice story. It so does. it's cool. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. We talk we talk about that often. We're actually talking about that one of our show sponsors, Vegas Valley Fire. Yeah. They're like all their employees have been there for like 10, 20 years. It's yeah, like yeah. Uh, that's a good thing no, when you're looking for somewhere to go. Like, yeah, all right, well, it is. these guys it are is. staying here for a long time. Yeah, this is gonna be a place I want to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're doing yeah. something You make it work for your employees too. Like your employees was like, oh, I want to go sales now. Oh, you know, I'm kind of bored. I want to yeah. go back to doing my. Hair. I want to go like blow up some compressors. Can oh, I go yeah. in the room for a week? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we got a room for that. Yeah, you know? like, yeah, yeah. Just like Vegas Valley Fire, 
they did the same thing with okay. their employees. They allowed them to kind of do this and do that, and they've Play been there for strengths. over like yeah. 10 years. That's the awesome. majority of them, yeah. especially their leadership. Team. Yeah. Learn the whole industry. Go Huge. around the whole table, it is. whatever you want. It's cool. Like, and, and you do. You have to talk to your employees because, you know, actually – we have one of the, like, so we do exactly that. And we always kind of check in with our guys and like, you happy here? Like, you know, you want to, and we cross train everybody on stuff. Sometimes they don't want to be cross trained or whatever, but I'm like, Hey, we need somebody to jump in or whatever. But it's so, you know, we try to keep all that in mind, but like we have a guy who is making, and he's still here, Sal. Uh, he makes the uh, air maintenance devices. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, you don't want to arm wrestle him because he's there with a vice Ooh. all day, just twisting the pipe, right? Like that's <laughs> all he does. And we're like, Sal, you want to go do something else? No, nah, I'm good. Nah. You know, like, like he just stands there all day just making it so you guys are using Sal's air maintenance devices all the time. He's been if doing it for years and years. we got air maintenance devices yeah. come from him? Yeah, Sal's hey, making so them. If you put air. one yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Sal made it. Sal made Sal it. Sal. And Sal's no, no, awesome. Hey, Sal. Hey, Sal don't want to be cross-trained. Yeah, Sal, your, Sal hey, wants to make their maintenance too. devices. Yeah. I love it. They also paint in-house. Yeah. You see the paint booth. Yeah. It's kind of cool. And getting in it, all the angles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the yeah whole, that's like all the little pieces Efron. of the compressor, all the little yeah. pipes, everything. And yeah. that and the general air yeah, blue. blue. <laughs> you can't miss it. You that's can't right. miss yeah. it. Yeah. That's yeah, what, man, this has been awesome. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, thank wow. you so much. For thank you. I mean, really, I was, it, I'm so glad this worked out. I'm glad you got to see a little bit of the sprinkler madness stuff. And, yeah. But I certainly be able to bring you guys around, and yeah. I, you know, I love the enthusiasm you guys have for the industry. And, yeah. You know, it matches our enthusiasm for what we do and everything. So it's a nice fit. So it's great. Yeah. That's thanks awesome. for coming in. Thank you. Thanks guys. for yeah. having us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, our pleasure. And Happy thank you to it. anybody that's watching us, whether you're thank watching you us live or you're watching the replay. Really appreciate you. We're episode doing this for you. This is episode one from live from the shop, the blue collar, whatever. we're Calling it. <laughs> um, we are going to be going live from whoever wants to invite us to their facility. You know, we're up for it. Let us know. Hit us up at dopentape at gmail.com. If you want to get any of this dope and tape merch that you see, you got the you got the website up top. Somewhere, right? Dope I slash right tape. Above me. Slash and so can that, you, you can read it. Read it yourself. You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else do we got? We'll read a couple comments before we go. Jeremy, you ain't lying. I have a dry system that was converted from 1950s wet. I've done over 200,000 in repairs. Yeah. Oh, that's something that I've done, too, where they like, they're like, oh, shit, it's getting cold. Like, let's just turn this. Let's can we turn this dry? Room, like, yeah. no, you can't. Like, it's not yeah. pitched. It wasn't installed. Right. Right. Oh, right. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Just put a dry valve right here. Yeah. No, okay. With all the drops. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to add nitrogen. We're just going to make it uncorrode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't. No, it won't. Back to a bucket top. Some people think so. No, I know. It's it's absolutely true. It's some you know, because we've been doing the nitrogen for so many years, and that's some part of the presentation where it's like, hey, it's not going to undo corrosion. Right. Whether it's nitrogen or, or vapor pipe shield, it's not going to undo corrosion. You know, Bell's in here. She said we did good. Awesome. Oh, shout out to Bell. Shout, shout out to Bell. Thank you. That's his girl. Okay. The Big Blue support. Collar Broadcasting awesome. Doping Tape Episode 1 General Air. Right. We really appreciate it, man. Hey, this has been awesome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Thank Thanks you so a lot. Much. Yeah, appreciate you. Everybody. All right.